Oh, I know. Natalie, are you still there? Yes. Okay, Natalie. Everybody, class is me. So, Natalie, if you can just hang on like two or three minutes. Uh, there was something I meant to show the entire class and I forgot. Yeah, okay. This, I, I send you a silent video and I don't know if that worked uh, or how they look on your end, but this, do you see my screen now? Yeah, have I you, watched it and that it did help. But did have you ever have you ever seen this screen that says that like email yes. and then password? Okay, I think that was part of the problem, Natalie. Yeah, that, it was. Um, it that's why you were getting trapped because naturally you probably said, "Oh, email," and you entered your ETSU email and then your ETSU password, and then that that's where this probably said you went on to forgot your password and it's no. So when you see this, close that window, close that tab, and then go to D2L and follow one of the links. And you know, the, um, it's, it's, I think after a few minutes of not being active, Mobius kicks out the user. And then by default, people are taken to this window. And um, I hadn't realized that was the case and that was, was causing so much confusion but uh, if you conf you're confirming it, so I I'm going to propagate a campaign of do not use this window. <laughs> so, because I, I think this was, that was the root of what was causing so much confusion about what is the password, what is the username. And that was, I think that was the main problem. Yeah, once I watched that video and saw how to log in from D2L, then I've, I've, I've been able to get stuff done. Oh, so you are able to, okay. So, um, and I gave you special access and now that I'm reopening the pronoun sets, uh, you and I will talk again on Thursday or Friday and see when the special access kind of, it's independent of the other dates. So um, I just want to make sure that next week you have an opportunity to resubmit and things of that sort, okay? So Alrighty. it could be, I, I, in another class I have this morning, I realized with another student that when I, I gave my student a special access and then I changed the date for everybody else, and the, the student was not able to uh, open. So there was a little misunderstanding like that, but we'll, we'll figure it out, okay? But I'm glad to hear that you're no longer, uh, uh, you know, kicked out or you're not in this infinite loop that it was so frustrating yeah i was i was like i know i purchased it i have the yeah. confirmation <laughs> why can't yeah. i log in yeah yeah it's because this this window has to be avoid at all yep. times. so okay let's see i have another question from caleb caleb are you there yes uh-huh you want me to um what, what were you asking me about the the project right that's what yeah, you, can you explain uh, uh -huh. the requirements yeah okay are you you're in d l right yes okay let me share this um okay so when the requirements, okay. So you should, uh, are you planning to resubmit? Yes. Okay, so you should definitely review that PDF that says selected student responses, okay? Uh, it doesn't mean that you have to, it's just to give an idea of how to respond. You know, you find your way of, the narrative could be very succinct, just a few phrases, you know, it doesn't have to be very elaborate. But okay, okay. The requirements. It has to be a Word document. So if you generated an image with Desmos, um, you some people take a screenshot and then they crop the image and they insert that. Sometimes in Desmos you download the PNG, the image file, and you're supposed to insert that image file into the Word document. Okay. I, I always say here, generate a Word document in OneDrive. If you have Word in your local computer, don't worry about OneDrive. 
okay? Because I understand that maybe a little too okay. much. But um, use questions 16, 12, and 16. Some of those questions there uh, had lines, quadratic, constants. I, I just wanted people to come up with their own version. You saw some responses, they are all lines, but they're not the same line. Yeah, um, I, I used all lines. Yeah, so all lines is fine. It's just like, you're gonna have different values of slope and intercept, right? Or um, the, the, I think the key is also defining the, um, the domain, the three pieces of the domain. The, for, the three branches have the, the graphs, but you also need the values on the horizontal axis that correspond to each branch. And that's one part that seemed to be, it was a little tricky. That's the uh, if part, like if x uh, is greater than or equal to six. That's something right. Something like that. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that's the, um, yeah, the if part is. Yeah, it's like, see this one here? So the first formula, and then it says if, and what you have in the if is the, the interval or sub-interval of the domain. And then there is another formula, and then there is another if, that's the other sub-interval. Yeah, so that's, that's also very, very important. Okay, thank you. Okay.